What is up you guys? I am Unthinkable Tri Tyco Trail and we're back with another Tyco through the years and this time we're doing the Tyco GP20. And 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 we're starting off with the first year where they came out which was 1961. This Burlington is actually not in 1961. It's actually a Probably in 1962 or 63, but it's actually probably the first one that came out with the with a set. But it was actually a earlier set because the first one was an Illinois Central set. But I don't have that. It was a different one. But I'm actually showing the Burlington set. But it was actually the Black Diamond set. I have the engine here with the sticker. It's not a sticker. It's a print. But this head with the but this head with the Burlington is actually right here. It consisted of a Burlington Collaborator, a hard to find U.S. U.S. Navy hopper, and a Redding hopper. These are all uh, Rattlers, and it had a Bobber Caboose. This was the uh, Black Diamond said. Said, and I showed this in a Christmas video for the first to the. 25th video of the Christmas season and this is the probably the, probably the recent ones like but, but next up is the one more one of the more popular ones I put on YouTube like is the Union Pacific but this is the the earlier version because it's much more in the color it has the department of transportation it has the Union Pacific logo on the front but what I forgot to mention with this other one is from these two and this engine here, it's all gray bomb, which I'm going to show you. It's a gray bomb. And it goes for these other three over right here, too. Um, but, th but with this one, this was actually featured in a lot of good sets, which I featured in from a Tyco Troll video and a couple other unloading videos where I had my train car is being dropped off in the siding and this was the engine that I featured in and this is also an older engine too this is probably like 1963 but it could be a different year but it's still a black bottom I said the wrong thing it's a silver bottom but now for the other older one this is the Santa Fe and it has always the, the common number of two of uh, 5628 and it goes for these other other ones here too but this one's also an older one which i ran in another santa fe video i forgot the the name of the set but but this one uh, i still have a couple versions where it's black but uh, this one's actually an older one in gray and all the rivets and the rivets are the same with the cover and this one is probably one of the older runners that I have because the feature. And for my other one, the final gray bomb, which I forgot to mention, was a hard to find cotton belt. And this is actually one of two of them I have in my collection, but this is the one where I burnt out the light accidentally because I was running a train show, a train race where where the trains would race. And race each other to be the fastest one and this is actually the the fastest one in my collection but i can't show it speed in my layout is because i don't want the train to fall off the tracks but with the light burn burnout it's still like a, a good but it's a really fast runner and it's a gray bottom too and this is also a similar version to the southern pacific but i do have a video on that too but i also put the cotton bell up there too and one of the ones I haven't posted yet, but this one was actually featured in the Cole video. It was the New York Central, which is only a couple videos, which is only a couple trains that have the symbol. The Union Pacific has one, and a couple other units you know, have it, like Santa Fe. But but this one, though, there's actually a rare piece on this one. This piece right here is mostly missing. It's mostly like an add-on piece. This piece is actually usually usually in the color black. And they, and they mostly add these to make them like a little bit more realistic, but they're mostly dyed black because 
because this is how it's factory made and the and people actually color it to match the colors on some of these other units space right here but but with this one there's actually only a few of them that have white stripe and the number is exactly the same as the other units to 5628 and it's still a another one of the better running units and for another rare one this is the Rio Grande which I featured in only a couple videos but I only featured in one and this is actually a really cool model in my opinion because of the the front of it is actually pretty cool, but the lines and the real grand lettering, and I think all these other ones are like cool too. But this one actually is probably the one that probably stands out in front of my in front of my eyes because it's like really really cool. But this is also a another black model too. The but this time when it but this time the the bogies I changed the, the the color and it goes for this one here too, the black mono. I'll show you a little uh, show you a little bit. It's all and all the rivets are the same, including this other one here too. And for another famous one, it was the writing. I currently have three of these, but I I like the two of them. Well with this one it has it has the writing logo, it has the exact same number. I have two. Uh, I have two of these, by the way. But this is actually the the black, uh, the black uh, bottom version. I do have a silver version, version by one by one to show only one of these. But this is actually another good running look locomotive. It's, it's really cool too. And by far away, one of the rarer ones. It's the Elon Essentials. But this one is the price here. I have to be very careful when I handle this unit because. This is probably the, one of the rare GP20s I have in my collection, but it's actually probably rarer than the GMO unit, which I don't have, but this is probably one of the prized ones I have in my collection currently right now, but it's probably much more rare if it has the sticker in the front, which is usually missing. Like this one has a sticker, but this one also has the sticker too, which is usually hard to find. And it has the same numbers as always, but it goes for the, all the other ones too. They have the same numbers. And it says Illinois Central in an orange, orange or a yellow mixture of color. It's a red and silver too. And this is also another black bottom. But with different rivets this time. This is black rivets. And this is the silver rivets. This is where it could be changed. And so far, this is probably one of the rare GP20. And he's the fine. And I did feature this uh, one in the in the video with the Coca-Cola cars. And here's one of the other Illinois Essentials. This is the common version. And it's the same number, 5628. But this time, the sticker in the front is exactly the same as this one. But uh, it's, it's a little bit rarer if it has a sticker. But the common color is orange, white, and has the black lettering. But this is the rare version here. And this is also another really cool model. And I have another Burlington here. But there's a difference. But there's a difference with this version too. This one's actually a watered down version of the first one I I showed. Like this one looks the same, but it's actually missing a few things. Like this is this is almost about to get into the 70s where where the sticker is missing and this is also a black bottom too with the rivets both different but let me show you the side by side compared to the the other one I show, showed in the first so you see the sticker right here where the printing right here is actually missing they took it off somewhere between in the mid 60s or 70s but compared to the older model this one has a little sticker and this one's actually a little bit hard to find with the sticker and this is a hard to find variant too with the, eh, with the sticker but with this unit though it's a little bit of a watered down unit but this one is a little bit more older uh, than this one 
And we're now moving on with the Power Torx. We really got the main figures right here again, fighting over with the chibi ones, but I'm gonna deal with them one way. Toss down there, and I'm gonna toss this one here. And the main figures are okay, and there's no, but with the cheapy ones, and here's one of the other famous ones. It was the Durango, the Durango set, which I featured in, but this is the Power Torica version. It has the same number as all these other units uh, here, but with this one, though, it's a little bit of a cheaper version. It's a little bit of a cheaper plastic, but but here's the Power Torque one. He has the exact same wheel arrangement as the other two, the Chessy system and the Rock Island, which I featured in a past video. And this one's also a good runner, too, and I can't run it for long is because it's the Power Torque. Unlike these, I can run these for only a couple times this one, but this one I have to be careful when I run it. And it's the only one that I didn't add the uh, handrails to. And finally, for the final one, my by Tyco is the Chattanooga GP20. But the only difference with this one is, it not only has the black handrail, but this one is named after the famous set Chattanooga Choo Choo set. But this is the GP20 version. And only a couple times I, I ran it uh, and, and had a little bit of a fails with a, a slip gear under the wheels, the short one that powers the motor. And I had a, and I have a video of it where where the train was going and the gear gear came off and the train was like uh, gone, but the it was not moving. But I'm gonna show you another power torque, the same one. And for the train that I use most often in really long, long or heavy train videos is is another GB20, but this is not. A Tyco one. I use I use this engine a lot in my videos, including the latest edition ones. Is a Walters, uh, a Walters uh, GB20. This is actually a heavier model, unlike the unlike the Power Torx and uh, the older Tyco models. But I use this one a lot in my really long train videos and a couple of my latest edition videos. But with this engine, though. It's completely different though, and it says Walter is underneath here, but this one is completely different, and I use this a lot for my videos, and the number is different, but it's a, it's a Walters anyway. And for a couple, uh, 